JCB Live Wine Style. Dear friends, Gregory Patria, one of the most talented winemakers in the world of Pinot and Chardonnay, we are here in the magical, historical, and spiritual cellars of the Boisset Winery in the heart of Burgundy. Those cellars were built in 1640. It's an old convent and it shows and portrays the influence of all of you ladies in the world of wine for many, many centuries. Today, Gregory is going to tell us all about the art of aging wine and the differences of a traditional barrel size to a bigger barrel. But before that, I have a big question for Gregory the importance and influence of a historical stone cellar. We are very lucky to be in this 18th century cellars. Uh, the importance for a winemaker is as the wine has to feel good, I would say. You know, we use only natural yeast here and uh, we do not inoculate, so the fermentation has to go very easily with as less intervention as possible. Here we are maybe Six, six meters under, under the earth here. Humidity is between 75 and 80%, and this is really perfect for the aging process. Temperature is like 15, 60 degrees here, and uh, that's very important to not uh, uh, use artificial humidity system here. And in France, in Burgundy, everything is naturally made, I would say. You don't need any uh, outside intervention. This is very exciting, dear friends, because we're talking about the 17th century. One of the wings of the winery is 18th century, another one is 19th century, and we build the cellar on top as well of the historical cellar. So there's each period adding something new and another dimension to the world of wine. So now we're going to taste a wonderful white wine made two different ways. So Gregory is going to show us from the barrel itself why the difference of the wine and how important it is to be open-minded to creativity, to innovation and never to be stuck into tradition and let tradition influence us to keep moving forward. Shall we? Yes. Now we are caressing the skin of nature, the best forest of France to craft the most amazing barrels. So Gregory, tell us what we're going to be tasting and the comparison. So really interesting here to try three different sizes of barrels. So that's very unique in Burgundy. The traditional size in Burgundy is this one here, 228 liters. And compared to Bordeaux, which is 225, you know, we have three liters of difference in, in Burgundy. Here you have 300 and 450. The influence of these three barrels is very e extremely important in these three wines. You imagine here we have the same juice in these three barrels, but you have at the end of the aging, or right now, I can say we can already see it, you have three different energy, I would say, uh, in, in this wine here. This, this Meursault here, which is Meursault is the most famous appellation in, uh, in Burgundy, the classic, the classic juice here is uh, really big and fat and buttery. The medium size here, the same wine with, with a little bit more finesse and energy. And with this big barrel here, uh, we imagine the same juice at the beginning. It's a beautiful, uh, there's a huge finesse, much, even much more energy here, much more minerality. And the idea of this big barrel here is to provide less oak impact. Here you have much more coffee cake, vanilla. Here you have much more um, floral notes, herbs, uh, beautiful, uh, you have much more that's really interesting. You could imagine this, these two barrels here coming from two different juices. And this is exactly the same wine at the beginning. So let's taste. And then do you blend them together or you vinify them or you bottle them separately? So they have been aged um, separately. So that means uh, the wines have not been blended already. And they are going to be blended at the end of the aging process. But here, we, it's, it's interesting because we, are, we don't have enough juice to fill three big barrels. So we have been obliged to order specifically for this wine two different smaller sizes compared to the classic size we use, we're using here since 2007. So 
So 14 years ago, we have decided to move from small to bigger barrels to provide more, more energy in the wine. Well, cheers. And why don't you describe to us what we're tasting in the 300 and then we'll go into the 450. In the 300 here, you have a little bit of, uh, of oak, a touch of oak. You can really guess it very um, subtle here. Mm. This is breakfast of champion. Isn't it better to try wine early in the morning? Exactly. And have an amazing acuteness and accuracy of your senses. And this is what I love the most, it, to taste early so we can really feel the energy of the wine. Absolutely, there's a beautiful finesse on the nose wow. with this wine now. The maladaptic fermentation has just finished and it is already surprisingly showing very well for only uh, nine months of aging in this barrel. So the advantage of this barrel is versus this one. The advantage, I would say, it's a question of taste. I would say, if you prefer the classic, I would say, old, old school burgundies, you would prefer maybe this one with more coffee cake, vanilla, and more depth. If you prefer wine with a little bit more finesse, energy, and less oakiness, you would certainly prefer this one. But there's a clear trend the last 10 years in Burgundy moving from this barrel to something bigger for less, for more terroir impact, in fact. Bigger is sometimes better. <laughs> so let's try from this one, now Gregory, yes. so we can maybe compare. We don't want to spoil any of this gold elixir. This is so phenomenal. Merceau Côte de Beaune. Ooh, a flavor of differences. It's unbelievable just from the barrel to see such a distinction. So here, yeah, much more fresh, much more, much more neutral, I would say here. You feel very, you feel very much the impact of oak, of less impact of oak here. And uh, that's really the first time you do this experience, you really imagine the two wines are coming from two different places. But it's really one single vineyard, but uh, you really realize how important is the influence of oak. And in Burgundy, we want, we want as much influence of oak as possible. So now, dear friends, I'm going to create the impossible. I'm going to play with my wine and blend the two together. Of equal part, do you want to try to? Maybe we're creating the magical blend of not so the future. 450 liter barrel, 300 barrels. They, by the way, beautiful, aren't they? Which forest? It's coming from the famous forest of Troncé, mm -hmm. one of the most famous forests uh, in France or in the world, uh, really known for its beautiful uh, oak trees here with very, very fine and refined grain. Mmm. 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 I think we, we did it. The blend is really interesting here. Wow, very ethereal. Which is really cool, is we are in a great cellar, which is very telluric energy, but I think the larger content bring cosmic energy. So this wine for me would be very caustic. What do you think? Yes, it needs a few more months to really be ready for the, the bottling, but uh, it's already um, really surprisingly showing well. So, dear friends, from now on, it's one thing to know the barrel, it's another to know the size. Go big or go home. <laughs>